Okay, Chef D, so now's the time for you to absorb this challenge because what we're <laughs> going to do is throw together. I just brought some ingredients from the kitchen and I thought you could create something wonderful from it. I know you can. And uh, I did pick the ingredients for a reason. So real quick, I brought some cooked brown rice. Okay. Because we know that that's wholesome, nutritious, high fiber, fiber. good base. And then uh, kale, because you know, everything's kale these days. I, I love kale, personal favorite of mine. Good, good. And I steamed it a little bit because it, kale does better with a little bit of thyme. Mm -hmm. So I, I knew thyme would be of the essence. So I steamed a little fresh kale for you. Uh, we chopped some red bell peppers. Great. And I brought some almonds because this is another one of my favorite nutritionally, um, really foods, yeah. great, great mm -hmm. nutritional calories there. Great uh, vitamin E and great um, omega-3 fatty acids. And then because I love dried fruit, I brought some unsulfured uh, slivered dried apricots. You have uh, some vegetable broth to work with. Okay. You have some extra virgin olive oil. And you have one of our salt and sugar-free seasoning blends. This is the Mediterranean blend, which you probably remember from when you worked yes, with me. Yes, wonderful. So the I pan is stuff. getting hot, uh -huh. and I'm going to turn the cooking over to you Okay. and let you uh, just kind of go for it and put something together for us. Okay, wonderful. All right. Yeah. So. Well, you know, this is really, you know, my philosophy yeah. um, that, you know, there are just certain recipes that work, and then so understanding why those recipes work really will set you free from the necessity of having a recipe. So we'll just get started by adding a little bit of fat to the pan. And that's pretty hot there. Yeah, it's, I'm gonna cool it down that's a little warm. bit for you. Yeah, this thing really heats and up And we'll, we'll start with the aromatics. And aromatics, you know, this could be celery, this could be onion. Yeah. Um, these beautiful red bell peppers, this is great. This is great. And so, you know, we'll just kind of, I mean, you can already smell that. That's, right. that's wonderful. And so this is flavoring the fat that we have in the pan. And it's just going to get a little bit of uh, caramelization on it. And we'll just have those soften. And uh, again, I mean, I would add some, some fresh herbs to this, right. um, any kind of onion. It's really about what you have on hand. And now this looks like leftovers from my house. This looks like brown <laughs> rice that, you know. It's just plain cooked. The rice is just one of those things, right? You always make a little bit too much and you always end up with some of it left over. So. so the next thing that we'll do is add the nuts. The thing about when you're cooking with nuts is that they're very high in fat, uh, good fat, but they will burn on you. So. That's why we add them halfway through the cooking process. It's the same way that you would do garlic, right. you know? So I would have, you know, I'd have the, uh, the onions or the peppers going first, and then I would add the nuts or the garlic about halfway it through. It smells great already. Yeah, and because you're going to start getting that, the, the, uh, the toastiness from the nuts. Right, right. And that toasting does bring out all the flavor and right. fragrance of the nut. Basically, yeah. I mean, what's going on is that, that Maillard reaction mm -hmm. where um, you've got proteins and carbohydrates that are, um, that are browning at temperatures mm -hmm. over 120 degrees Celsius, and they're forming new flavor molecules. I mean, that's what's, that's what's making it so delicious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give this a little bit since we've got some stuff in the a pan now. A little bit now. of juice. Yeah. And then go ahead and add uh, the dried apricots. Now, again, these are high in sugar. They have a, quite a bit of fructose, um, you know, not processed sugar. So this is good sugar. Um, but because they do have that sugar content, you kind of have to watch out for these guys as well because they will burn it as well. So it's, it's about proportion and timing. So what am I basing this on? I'm doing about one part aromatic, one part nut, one part fruit. Okay. Just kind of a one-to-one -one ratio. I'm going to add a little bit more fat to the pan. Mm -hmm. And you can also, I know, moisten it with a little bit of the vegetable broth mm -hmm. if you want to. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm creating a fond on the bottom of the pan, yeah. and then I'm going to go ahead and deglaze it because this is just about the time. And you can see that it's starting to brown up there. Yep. That's a lot of flavor. Yep. And I'll go ahead and add my vegetable stock. Just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go ahead and kind of scrape and you know, get all of those uh, tasty bits up off the, uh, the bottom of the pan. And this is classic French technique here. So just, just a little technique goes a long way for a lot of different dishes. Now, do you emphasize this kind of cooking technique at the St. Joseph Center? I do. In your program? This is exactly what I teach. Uh, because, you know, this is, it's so practical 
And no matter what the flavor profiles that a certain chef works with, most of the techniques are very similar. So when I prepare the students with these techniques, they do really well when they eventually get to their jobs. Yeah. We have um, graduates of the program that are now executive chefs. And it's just absolutely mind-blowing. I know I've employed um, uh, several of your That's, graduates. Yes. We start them out in our kitchen. And I'm always grateful to know that I can rely on the basic training that they've had through you. Well, you know, it, that's the cool thing about being a chef. It's like it's like a family tree. It's a, you know, your your resume speaks volume, and it's all about where you've been and who you've learned from. So, I'm I'm happy to uh, to have come from the uh, the Nutrifit kitchens, <laughs> and you can see that this is actually starting to like make like kind of a yeah, syrup it because is. It's because thickening. the apricots are are kind of giving off you know their um, their pectin and their and their sugar and it's yeah, getting that's, delicious. That's one of those nice things about apricots is they have that high uh, pectin content, mm -hmm. which really helps too to make it uh, thick. And now we'll just add some base to it. We'll add the brown the brown rice. This will make it hearty. We'll go ahead and stir that in. Now, I know you mentioned that you um, like to use a lot of fresh herbs. And as you know now, we mm -hmm. have our own farm w at NutriFit, and we're growing a lot of our own fresh herbs. You're doing the same, aren't you? Yes. We have an herb garden at... Um at the Bread and Roses Cafe, I was sick of all my like fancy pants, you know, chef <laughs> friends. Oh, I got to go to the roof and you know get some uh, some silverback time. I'll be right back. And so I was like, why not? You know. So I had a friend um, at my church who was a uh, a troop leader for uh -huh. the Boy Scouts, uh -huh. and uh, as an Eagle Scout project, uh, one of the uh, the Boy Scouts came and built us a um, like a tiered herb garden right. that we have How in the back. How cool! Yeah. That is wonderful. Really neat. Neat. So you just go out there, pick what you need. That's and, right. And um, so, at what point now will we add the kale and well, wrap this dish? Yeah, the kale is um, going to come here at the end because you know we don't want to overcook the kale. I love the color. Yeah, and it's so vibrant, and we don't want to lose any of that by overcooking it, and we don't want to lose any of the the, the enzymatic um, activity by raising the temperature too high. So at the end, and you know, and it'll just wilt into your dish. Nicely, and you can do a little uh, massaging of this beforehand if you want to break it down a little bit. You can just put a little dash of salt, which will the sodium ions will draw the water out through the semi permeable cell membranes and make it a, just a little bit softer. And then voila, yeah, and look at that, that and that's and that's, wonderful. that's ready to go. And it's beautiful, it and is very, beautiful. very beautiful. Now, don't huh? forget the seasoning, yeah, you might want to pull the whole top off that. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, add in a little now, you're adding in um, the key ingredients for our Mediterranean blend, the basil, oregano. Ooh, and, and the, oregano, I can smell the dill in The there. dill, Oh my yeah. God, that's so good. That wow. looks absolutely wonderful. Chef D, thank yeah, so you. Let's, yeah, let's, my pleasure, let's plate it up. All right. I'll take a little bit of this. Presentation, I know, is so important. Yes. I remember your, um, <laughs> your episode of Chopped, you know, getting it just right. Well, and we, they really grate on that. That's really real, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we do eat with our eyes. You know, that is half the battle. Like, you want the plate to look good. And look at that. That, that is, is beautiful. That All right, I'll wonderful. hold it for you. You taste. Yes, absolutely. That'd be my pleasure. See, and I, I know I'm going to get all kinds of texture. Hmm. What could be easier? <laughs> I mean, you'll live forever eating like this, yeah, and you'll yeah. be happy to. And healthy. That's right. That's so good. Well, um, thank you so much for sharing that mm, and for that you is. know improvising like that and giving us a little culinary lesson in the sa at the same time. It was my pleasure. It's so much fun. I know that our uh, audience is going to want to follow you. They're going to want to experience what you're doing, you know, live through your eyes. What's the best way for them to find you? Well, I have a, I have a fabulous website, uh, chefdbrandonwalker.com. And it's, it's a wonderful site. I have instructional videos. I have recipes. Um, it I talks about um, all the things that we're doing um, as far as charity and philanthropic endeavors. And, of course, it, it talks about the new book that's on the way, uh, which is all about improvisational cooking. 
Well, I, um, I'm going to look that up, and I'm going to follow you, and I'm going to hope do. that somewhere in that book there's a shared recipe that you wouldn't mind me borrowing for our NutriFit clients. That, it, it, that would be an honor. And, uh, and I thank you again so much for coming to see us today. It was really, really great to have you. It, it was my pleasure. Keep up the good work. I will. We need people like you out there. I will. Thank All you, right. Jackie. Thank you. For more Food Exposed, check me out on empowerme.tv. And until next week, remember, make food your best friend and exercise your companion for life.